All right, guys, pressure-controlled switches. We just got done talking about temperature-controlled switches. These work in the same manner, except the diaphragm inside the switch is, or that piece of metal that holds the contacts, makes or breaks based on changes in pressure. Now, these are used to, for, to protect compressors. They're used to control refrigeration systems. They're used to for fan cycling, for head pressure control, and so so forth. And there's just a couple of what couple of devices that are pressure controlled switches, and they all have a port where they can screw on to the uh, the refrigeration lines in the system. Now they make or break on increase or decrease in pressure, and in, in this schematic symbol here, we have an HPS. You look down here at the legend, it says it's a high pressure switch. So let, what does that mean? It means that as the pressure increases, the switch opens like this. So it opens on a pressure increase. So for example, a high pressure switch, if it's connected it onto the control of the compressor and for some reason the head pressure rises above the point where it's the normal operating temperature and to the point where it would damage the compressor this pressure switch the high pressure switch that opens when the pressure gets too high will disconnect the control circuit from the compressor and shut the compressor off until that temperature falls back down to a safe level and the same thing with the low pressure switch that opens on a temperature drop and the same it it, does, it has the same purpose it protects the compressor from the low uh, low pressure conditions which can cause it to overheat and indicates that there's a, a problem with the refrigeration system itself so here's a just a, another example of the high pressure switch which opens on pressure pressure increase and that's what it looks like when it's open you will also notice that the low pressure switch opens in this direction as well now you know when we talked about the temperature range of of the temperature switches where they have a uh, make or break temperature with a range it's the same thing with the pressure switch they're going to have a make or break pressure setting and there's going to be a range that it has and then you take that make or break pressure subtract the range and that's going to give you your closing pressure as well pretty simple exactly the same as the temperature controlled switches in the way that they operate only that they're pressure controlled that's the end of this lesson. Pretty simple on that one.